this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm going to show you how you can patch into a database choice column from Microsoft Power Apps. Now, this was a question we got on the channel, so I thought I would do a quick video on how to do that, and let's just get straight into it. So, as you can see here, I've got a database table called Test, uh, and we've just got a name column, My Choice column. So, I'm going to patch a new record into here from Power Apps. Now, I've already created the canvas app to save time. Uh, I've already connected as a data source to that test table. And I've just got a button here, and now I'm going to show you how you can do that patch. So first, what we want to do is we want to do the patch. And then next, we want to select our data source. In our case, it's the test table. And then next, I am going to do defaults test. So this will create a new record. Um, and then next is where we want to complete our field. So this is where we do the lookup. Um, choice column so i'll just put the name patch and then next i am going to do the choice column so first things first i'm going to select the name of my choice column and this is where it's different to this is where it's different to oh, sorry i've got an error here let me just change that put an s in okay let's fix that so just back to this choice column this is where it's different to sharepoint i did get quite a bit of confusion this when i sort of swapped over from sharepoint into dataverse and what you want to do is when you've when you've um, stated the column to put that choice in, if you notice here, if I select edit on that column and scroll down, you'll see what you want to sync this choice field with. And this is what we have to specify in the in the command. So if I now, as we could see, that was called my choice test. And then now when I select the dot, it will then show me those choices that I can select from to populate to populate into that field. So as you can see, there's our three choices. I like pizza. I like hamburgers. I like delicious kebabs with garlic and chili sauce. So now if I just select I like delicious kebabs with garlic and chili sauce, they can see it's going to put that value into the database field so now i'll just close my curly brackets close my brackets now if i just run that and select that that's going to run the patch let me just come out of here refresh the screen and there you can see that record's now been added and it's successfully selected that choice from the choice column. Uh, I hope this video helps. If you're looking to do more patches with Power Apps, I'll put a video on the screen here on how to patch the SharePoint. But yeah, uh, I hope the video did help. Please like and subscribe to the channel and take care. Thank you.